According to ITTO latest findings, how do you see the future of tropical forest plantations? ITTO has recently published a report on industrial plantation in the tropics, which will be launched during the World Forest Congress. The report shows that in 2005, the total area under forest plantation in the tropics was 67.5 million hectares, representing some 1.4 percent of the total land area of those countries. Much of the development in plantation has occurred in Asia Pacific region, which account for 54 million hectares, followed by Latin America and Caribbean, 8.8 .8 million hectares, and tropical Africa, only 4.6 million hectares. This constitutes a significant and a steady expansion, with tropical forest plantation having almost doubled in area during the period from 1995 to 2005, particularly in Asia Pacific, where the red is highest, with India taking the lead, followed by Indonesia and to a lesser extent Thailand and Malaysia. The forest plantation estates in Asia Pacific are mainly composed of eucalyptus, laurel wood, teak and acacia. Development of these estates has mainly depended on government policies and programs for the purpose of reducing deforestation and closing the gap between the dwindling supply of timber and the critically important issue of excess processing capacity. In Latin America and Caribbean, the forest plantation industry underwent significant structural adjustment and consolidation with the view to increasing export. The most commonly planted tree species in the region are eucalyptus and pines, with generally very high yield. Brazil is taking the lead followed to a lesser extent by Venezuela, Peru, and Cuba. Pulp wood represents the bulk of tropical forest plantation in the region. In Africa, an unfavorable investment climate has significantly undermined the potential for forest plantation development. Nigeria, Sudan, Madagascar, and Senegal has been at the forefront of this effort to establish forest plantation, mainly to combat desertification. The situation is changing rapidly in some parts of Western Africa, where Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire are engaged in ambitious plantation programs. Ghana, in addition to his uh, ordinary programs, has recently launched a program to plant 24 million trees, aiming at restoring it, rainforests, and soaking up carbon dioxide. Apart from the Republic of Congo, where some companies are still involved in uh, cloning planting of eucalyptus urophila, and where about 70,000 hectares of plantation has been established, Central Africa is still lagging far behind as far as forest plantation are concerned. The general trend in forest plantation development in tropics looks good. Tropical countries have a comparative advantage in terms of both growth rates and labor costs for establishment silviculture operation and harvesting. There are many opportunities. The biggest share of international tropical timber trade is in value-added product derived mainly from plantation, and this trend is set to continue. There are also new challenges where tropical forest plantation can play a critical role. Climate change is one of them, and there are several mechanisms making use of tropical forest plantation to offset the effects of climate change, including the CDM mechanism of the Kyoto Protocols. Another opportunity is the growing interest in producing renewable energy, particularly from biomass. As the rate of growth is faster in the tropics, tropical forest plantation can play a critical role in generating renewable energy, provided that suitable species are identified, consistent plantation programs are established, appropriate technology are developed, and concerns regarding environmental, uh, environment protection and food security are duly addressed. The development of forest plantation in the tropics, particularly at this point in time, represents an immense opportunity for national economic development of those countries. It can help create employment, particularly in a rural area, generate revenues, contribute to green energy, and combat climate change. As already noted, tropical countries have significant comparative advantages in this domain. However, to make the best use of this opportunity, some enabling conditions have to be put in place.
the issue of land tenure and local community rights has to be satisfactorily resolved. The investment climate has to be made conducive. Appropriate incentive has to be designed. Capacity building is required. Transfer of technology as well as applied research are needed. And mechanism to ensure equitable sharing of benefits have to be, in, to be put in place. This represents serious constraints and challenges, but certainly not beyond the reach of tropical countries, considering the substantial benefits to be gained from establishing forest plantation in the tropics.